Let's see if we can simplify this expression right over here and write it in scientific notation. So the first thing I want to do, well, I already have parts of this expression that are written in scientific notation. For my brain to simplify the multiplication, I like to write everything into scientific notation and then do whatever I need to do to get it into a, the, the final product into scientific notation. So this part right over here, 0.2, is not in scientific notation. In order for it to be scientific notation, it would be, have to be some number between 1 and 10, not including 10. So greater than or equal to 1, less than, less than 10, being multiplied by some power of 10. And this is clearly less than 1. But we could just view this as, look, this is, this is in the tenths place. This is 2 times 1 tenth. 1 tenth is 10 to the negative 1. So this is the same thing as 2, 2 times 10 to the negative 1. Same thing as 2 times 1 tenth. Now if we look in the denominator, in blue we have this part. It is written in scientific notation. But this green part is not. But we could easily write it as, this is 5 ten thousands. 10,000 is, is 10 to the fourth. So this is the same thing as 5 times 10 to the fourth power. You see that it has 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So now let's take the product in the numerator and the denominator. So in the numerator, I'm just going to swap the order in which I'm multiplying. I'm just multiplying a bunch of stuff. 4.6 times 10 to the 6th times 2 times 10 to the negative 1. It doesn't matter what order I multiply them in. So I could rewrite this as 4.6 times 2 times 2 times 10 to the 6th. I'm switching colors. Times 10 to the 6th times 10 to the negative 1. Times 10 to the negative 1. And then in the denominator, I've got 5 times, well, let me just write the 5 times 2.3 times 2.3 times 10 to the 4th times 10 to the 4th times 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 2. And now let us attempt to simplify this thing. So here we have 4.6 times 2. Let me circle that. So 4.6 times 2 is 9. 0.2, so that's 9.2. And then 10 to the 6th times 10 to the negative 1, we have the same base, we're taking the product, we can add the exponents, is going to be 10 to the 6 minus 1, or 10 to the 5th power. So times 10 to the 5th power. So we've simplified our numerator. And now in our denominator, in our denominator, let's see, 5 times 2.3, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 0.3 is 1.5. So it's going to be 11.5. So this is going to be 11.5. And then if I multiply 10 to the fourth times 10 to the negative 2, that's going to be 10 to the 4 minus 2, or 10 squared, times 10 to the second power. And now I can divide these two things. So this is going to be equal to, we'll have to think about what 9.2 over 11.5 is. But actually, let me just do that right now. Get a little practice dividing decimals. So 9.2, give some real estate here. So 9.2, let me do that same color. 9.2 divided by 11.5. Divided by 11.5. Well, if we multiply both of these times 10, that's the exact same thing. That's the exact same thing as 92 divided by 115. We're essentially moved the decimal to the right for both of them. Let me add some zeros here, because I suspect that I'm going to get a decimal here. So let's think what this is going to be. Let's think about this. Well, 115 doesn't go into 9. It doesn't go into 92. It does go into 920. And I'm going to eyeball and say that it will go 8 times. Let's see if that works out. So I have my decimal here. That's 0, 8 times. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 11 is 88. And then 88 plus 4 is 92. Oh, it went in exactly. Very good. It's 920. We have no remainder. So 9.2 divided by 11.5 simplified to 0 0.8. 0 0.8. And then 10 to the fifth divided by 10 to the second, that's going to be the same thing as we have the same base and we're dividing. So we can subtract the exponents. That's going to be 10 to the 5 minus 2. Or 10 so this right over here is going to be 10 to the third power. So times 10 to the third power. Now are we done? Well, in order to be done, this number right over here needs to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. 
it is clearly not greater than or equal to 1. So how can we rewrite this as the product of something that is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10 and some power of 10? Well, this 8 right over here, this is in the tenths place. It's 8 tenths, 8 times 1 tenth. We could rewrite it as, so this is going to be the same thing as 8 times 10 to the negative 1 power. And then we have this 10 to the third here. So times, so times 10 to the third power. We do that in that other color. Times 10 to the third power. And now we have the same base, just add the exponents. So this is going to be equal to 8 times 10 to the 3 minus 1. So 8 times 10 squared. And we're done. We've simplified our original expression.